If you have a Garmin, you know these little computers on a wrist are jam-packed with features, some of which you might not know about. And since most of all the information and videos on these watches are usually on running, cycling, and swimming, this is how to use your Garmin to get the best results while at the gym strength training. Parked actually right in front of the gym. Should be a good day. Well, a decent day actually. I didn't get that much sleep last night, six hours and 41. Tip number one is, I'd recommend you actually do this before you get to the gym, but you wanna have your lifting workouts already logged into your Garmin watch. And you could do this pretty easy from the Garmin Connect app. I have my workout right up here, but if I wanted to create one, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna go under more, and then you're gonna go under training and planning, go under workouts, create a workout, you're gonna hit strength, and then at this point, you can enter your workout. Now, this is what my workout for today is gonna to look like now that it's completed. And I do think that one of the best parts on the Garmin Connect app is the exercise library. Which brings me along to tip number two, but for that, let's get this workout started. So I'm gonna go into the gym. Hello? How are you? You look familiar. Second tip is that now that you have your Garmin workouts logged into your watch, is that you could use the built-in rep counter during your workout. Not gonna be perfect. If anything, it's more of like an 80 to 90% in the accuracy rating. So my suggestion is after each set, you could just edit it immediately right on the watch. You're gonna get on a small window, which is gonna first allow you to adjust the amount of reps that you did, and then afterwards, um, the weight. You do have somewhat of a short window to do that. I've never really found it to be a problem, but in case, then you can also make the adjustments after your workout's completed. My third tip for you guys is gonna help you so that when you come into the gym, you really avoid logging unnecessary workouts on your watch. And what I mean by unnecessary is so you're coming in, you warm up on the elliptical for 10 minutes. Afterwards, you get with your main workout, which is gonna be the strength training part. And then you decide to, let's say, cool down for like 10, 15 minutes on the bike. So at the end, you log three workouts. What used to be three workouts is now consolidated into one. So this is today, 10 minute warm up on the treadmill, followed by the lifts that I'll be doing. And then cool down, could be a bike, but I have it listed down as just doing some stretching, some mobility. Now keep in mind, by all means, there's really no wrong or right way to do this. But from my experience, just structuring it this way gives me a better experience in the gym. Tip number four is gonna be for everyone that likes to freestyle their workout. So up to this point, if tips one through three kind of was a little bit overwhelming for you, I gotcha. On your watch, what you could do is when you're about to start your workout under strength, you can just hit free mode. So at that point, the rep counter is working in the background. And then once your workout's complete, you could go back to the Garmin Connect app and do tip number two, which was to edit it at that point. You could change the exercise, the reps, and the weight. The Garmin Connect app is gonna have the ability to import any benchmark exercises. And if you're new to that, in sports, benchmark exercises are gonna be your one rep max. Okay, so this right here, these are all the benchmark exercises that you have. I'm gonna click on barbell bench press. Um, I don't know what my one rep max is, let's say for just a regular flat bench, but I know I can hit 205 for five reps. So if I import that into the Garmin Connect app, this is what it gave me. So right here, I have it listed five reps at 205. It gives me an estimate of about 230 as my one rep max. Now, what good is any of this? Well, it's if you really focus into strength training, most uh, strength training workouts are gonna be like percentage based. So it's gonna say maybe like hit 80% of your max on a barbell bench press, 70% uh, on your squat. So what this does is that the Garmin Connect does all the math for you. So next time when you build your workouts, all you have to do is just go by the percentage and then the Garmin does all the math for you and you have your workouts listed on here. 
But there you guys go, five tips to really help you maximize your Garmin when you're here at the gym. Let me know if you guys like these videos. I was thinking about doing a Garmin series, kind of more in-depth tutorials. But if you have a Garmin, then definitely check out this playlist right over here. And also feel free to check out this video next. But I'll see you guys in next week's video. Make sure to subscribe and share this video with anyone. Until next one. I'm, I think that was really bad. I'm sorry. Really, really sorry.